deviation and i want to find out the relation uh, i uh, have a formula where i find out the reliability coefficient how i do it as is standard deviation is equal to the standard error of mean the standard error of mean is equal to standard deviation multiplied by root of 1 minus reliability coefficient okay so let's say my standard or error of mean is how much 3.2 this equals to 6.4 which is the standard deviation under root 1 minus uh, the reliability coefficient so that gives me uh, 0.5 is equal to root of 1 minus reliability coefficient so that means 0.25 is equal to 1 minus reliability coefficient so reliability coefficient is 0.75 so I can also find out how much is the reliability coefficient if I know the standard deviation and the standard error of mean so that's another important formula that we do the next and the last important thing that we would discuss for today is the box plot. This box plot is also called as the graph of five number summary. What are those five number summary? Any numbers that I have, let's say I have a series of number. I'm just writing the numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9, 11, 14, 15 and 18. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I have 11, 12, 13 and 14 and 15. Okay, so these are the 15 numbers that I have. 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8, 11, 9, 11, 14, 15, 18 and then 19 and 20. So those are the, uh, those are the numbers that I have written. Now what is a 5 number summary? Based on the five number summary, I can have a box plot diagram. But what are the five numbers, the key five numbers? In the variability, we have understood, we find out the minimum value. So minimum here is zero. The maximum here is how much? The maximum here is 20. So we calculated the minimum, we calculated the maximum. Now there are 15 numbers. So we would calculate Q1, Q2, Q3. So quartile one, the fourth value, which is two, then the fourth value which is 8, then the fourth value which is 15 and then the fourth value. Uh, so Q1 is 2, Q2 is the next eighth value which is 8, Q3 is the uh, 12th value which is 15. Okay. Then I find out the interquartile range which is Q3 minus Q1 which is 15 minus 2 which is 13. Okay. So in this case what I have calculated mean. Uh, minimum, maximum, quartile 1, quartile 2 and quartile 3. Quartile 2 is what? Quartile 2 is also the median. The difference between maximum and minimum is known as what? It is the range. The difference between Q3 and Q1 is what? It is known as the interquartile range. Between the two quartiles, it is known as the interquartile range. So those are the values that we derive in a five number sample. Clear? Now once I have the five number summary, I can represent this values here. When I am representing this values here, Q1 to Q3 are represented as a form of box. Okay. So this pink box represents Q1 to Q3. Then with the whiskers, I represent the maximum and the minimum. So here I have the maximum value or the minimum value and the maximum value. And then beyond the maximum and the minimum are certain outliers that exist. So this box plot diagram, the middle of that box plot diagram, the yellow line represents the median. Then this box plot diagram, when I'm plotting on a normal distribution curve, I can say this median covers the 50%. Okay. And then I have Q1 to Q3, the interquartile range covers the 50% information. Then the next is the uh, the minimum values to the quartile 1 which is covered in this 24.6 and then next is the Q3 to the maximum value which is covered in the next section of the uh, normal probability curve. So this box plot diagram I can actually have the representation on 
the graph so the central box is what the central box shows the quartile so it's q1 to q3 and the middle of the center box shows the median then you have the two whiskers which extend the the smallest value and the largest value which are given and sometimes there are outliers which lie outside the sample okay so though when you have let's say a test score that you have to calculate okay uh, let's say my test scores are 74 80 89 90 and 98 now what would be the range the range would be 98 minus 74 so my range of the data is 24 now what is the quartile quartile is q3 minus q1 so this whole value there are five values i do 5 plus 1 divided by 2 that's 6 5 plus 1 6 6 divided by uh, 4 so that means every uh, value that I would take as the second quartile and the third quartile. So here is the first quartile which is Q1, the second value. The fourth value is Q3. Okay, so I do Q3 minus Q1 which is 90 minus 80 divided by, so 90 minus 80 which is 10. So 10 is my interquartile range which is Q3 minus Q1. And that's how I plot the various values and the numbers here.